Okay, so Mega Man X3, it's not really my cup of tea. It's actually probably my least favorite of the X series. Um, it, yeah, I know, X6 should probably be that, but the, the main reason why I hate X6 is because it just totally ruined the plot with Zero. It just totally destroyed it. I mean, what Kiji and Ifune wanted, <laughs> too bad, X6, <laughs> made in like less than a year. Yeah, but I don't really mind the gameplay that much. I love the music. Every single track in that game is beautiful, but um, still, it's not my least favorite because I do have some fun... Farming for Nightmare Souls for some reason. I don't understand how that's even possible. But, um, yeah. X3 is probably my least favorite because it's just, there's just so much... I don't know. There's so much collecting you have to do. And the Sigma battle is... It's retarded, kind of. But, um, yeah. Uh, there is a way to have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of fun for it, uh, in it. Uh, at least for me. Alright, so this is what you're going to... This is what you have to do. First of all, excuse me, you have to do it on an emulator, and, and you also probably shouldn't use an iPod to record whatever you're doing. Yeah, and there's a glare on the screen, I know, even though that's that's not glass. So, <laughs> all right, go to Game Winners, type in Mega Man X3 Game Winners, and I think you all know where this is going already. All right, let's scroll down, baby. Woohoo! Scrolling. That wasn't funny. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, always play as zero. Right there. You see that code? 7E0A8EO2. Or just look it up yourself. There you go. Always play as zero. That means you can always play as zero if you use this cheat code. You know how, just how much fun it is to always use zero in Mega Man X3? I'll, sh I'll show you. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Just have to be careful not to glitch it up because if you if you glitch it up you have to reset. So you have to, you have to like turn the, the the code on and off sometimes during depending on what's happening. I don't know. It's it's kind of random, but I can always I actually managed to get it to work throughout the whole game if I just kept switching it up a bit. All right, and it's actually a lot more fun. Um, by the way, uh, the first Doppler battle is almost impossible as zero because for some reason zero just takes tons of damage in the first Doppler fight. So you're probably just gonna wanna use unlimited health or something. Um, yeah, because it. Trust me, I I couldn't beat it. I I just couldn't. All right, Mega Man X3. All right, I'm going to shrink it down a bit because, well, you can't really see anything on my iPod. So I'll just do this. And there you go. All right. Um, game winners. Let's type in that code. Darn it. Pack a dip. Where's the mouse? Oh, there we go. Alright. Cheat. Add code. Alright. 7E 0A 8E 02. Okay. Add. Alright. Let's get a move on, baby. Alright, let's move this into position. What I always do from now on, I always make R dash. Trust me, this the game, the all, almost all the difficulty in the X games kind of gets like dwindled if you put R as dash because it's, it's so perfect. All right. Blue oh, zero, but he'll turn red. There we go. It's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to play this when you're looking around the camera. I'm not gonna actually look through the camera and play. And remember, this control pad is kind of a piece of crap.
And that means, yes, you can fight all of- oh, wait, 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 wait. If you want to have Zero's, um... If you want to have Zero's, uh, health bar, you're gonna have to switch- You're gonna have to go to the switch zero- the switch to zero thing or whatever on the menu screen. So, yeah. Even if you're playing as Zero, just switch to Zero on the menu, and you'll have his large health bar. Once again, a gigantic robot that goes down really easy. Oh, he doesn't even follow you. <laughs> I'm gonna do this from now on. <laughs> Oh, gee. Alright. Notice how the Z is blue right now. <laughs> oh, and now we're going to see something hilarious. I mean, kind of hilarious. Two zeros! Ah, yep. That's right, Dr. Wily made two zeros. Alright. Let me, let me push in the control pad a little bit. Alright, there we go. Okay, the, my, my favorite Mavericks in this game, by the way, are... Um, uh, Blast Hornet... Uh, yeah, Blast Hornet, uh, Bolt Catfish, Tunnel Rhino, and <coughs> Shining Laser. Or Shining Tiger. Or Neon Tiger, sorry. That's because they are in Mega Man Extreme 2, which is my first, extreme, my first X game as a kid, and I grew up on that, and it's awesome. If this was the PSX version, this would have an anime opening, with no dialogue, by the way, so it doesn't add any story. Alright. Let's change... Alright, look. Now we have Zero's health bar, as you can see. So yeah, you can just do this throughout the whole game. Just, I'm just gonna do something really quickly to show you um, what you need to do in order to avoid glitches. At least most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't glitch it up, sometimes it does. It's very random. And even if you lose zero, you can still just do the, the code and like switch to zero. I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird. You can just pretty much play as zero, zero throughout the whole game if you want. It's pretty swell. Alright, um, I think for here you have to switch back to X just so, you know. There we go. <laughs> you can still use the big health bar. Uh, as you may know, you, there is no way to kill, um, Vile and Bit and Bite if you... Okay, I'm gonna turn this down. You can't kill Vile, Bit, or Bite as zero, if because you can only kill them as X, because if you use their weakness, they die and they don't come back. So if you defeat them as zero, you're gonna have to fight them in the fortress. And, uh, let me tell you, Bit and Bite put together in Doppler's fortress or lab or whatever... It's almost impossible as Zero. I don't know why. Zero just takes tons of damage from them, and they're almost impossible to, do to dodge. Trust me, just... I don't know. Do something. Do some little cheat code if you want to get through that. I mean, it's it's a pain. It's harder than Sigma, maybe. Even though I've never fought Z Sigma as Zero. I should do that sometime. Let's go to the Mega Man homepage and get a password out. Yeah. By the way, that's a wonderful site. Mega Man homepage. Yeah, so it, it's... it's a, I don't know. It's a fangirl, I think, that... Or, not a fan, I don't know, it's a, it's a girl. But, there's some things I don't agree with her on on in terms of Mega Man. Like, she thinks that the, the Battle Network series aren't Mega Man games, and she also thinks that um, the Legend series aren't Mega Man games, just because they don't, they're not side-scroller shooters. Well, you know, just like what Ash Paulson thinks, if it's made by Capcom, they put a blue robot in the game, its name is Mega Man, and it you can shoot a buster gun, it's gonna be, it's Mega Man. I don't care what genre it is, it's Mega Man. Nothing, there's nothing that's real and not real. If it's Mega Man, it's Mega Man. Even if you, even if it doesn't even have any guns whatsoever, if it's made by Capcom, yeah, I'm kind of self-contradicting myself. Even if it, if you, even if there's no shooting whatsoever, if it's made by, Me made by Capcom and there's a blue robot, ro robot in it called Mega Man, it's Mega Man. I don't care. Nothing that's real, nothing that's that real, or nothing that's not real. It's Mega Man. Let me, I mean, come on. And I'm not even trying right here. I'm just, you know. Wow, it's almost 11 minutes long, the video. It's going to take about, like, a half an hour to upload to YouTube. 
which is kind of annoying, but <coughs> oh well. I am Sean Adair slash Ravier. Yep. Um, just showing that off. See you later.